Hey guys, this is Michael, and today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to export your logo into Cinema 4D and basically make it look really nice and 3D. So first off, you need to open your logo, and preferably you want an alpha channel render of your logo, as I have here, but if you do not, then you're just going to use the pen tool to make a path of your logo, and then you'll have to export it the same way that we're about to. But if you do have an alpha channel render, which you want, you just need to hold down command if you're on a Mac or control if you're on a PC and click on the layer thumbnail, which is basically just the small square image of the layer. And then as you can see, it makes a selection of that. So then what you're going to do is select your rectangular marquee tool and right click anywhere on the work area and press make work path and then a box will come up asking you what tolerance you want and basically if you have rough edges in your logo then the tolerance will basically just correct those if it's on high or um, leave them as they are if it's on low but you need to have at least 0.5 tolerance and you can have really as much as you want but you don't want too much or else it'll just end up making everything look like a circle. So in my logo I'm going to do about a 2.0 tolerance but I suggest you mess around with it a little bit and see how it affects your logo. So I'm gonna press OK and then as you can see my work path is here and now that I have my work path well first off you can check what it looks like by um, making a new layer and deleting the old one and then right clicking on the work path and basically doing fill path pressing OK and then as you can see the uh, corners are a little bit wavy but you know I don't really mind because it makes it look better in my opinion anyway so now you can just go to file once you have your work path that is if you uh, didn't have an alpha channel render go ahead and do the pen tool and make the work path that way so yeah file export paths to illustrator and then it'll ask you what paths you want to export and just say paths work paths um, and then desktop and it'll save it as a .ai file on your desktop um, yeah so it'll save it as a .ai file on your desktop now you're going to open Cinema 4D and press file open and then select the .ai file that is on your desktop that you just made and then just press OK for all this unless you want to make it bigger or smaller but keep connect splines and keep group splines um, so now press OK and as you can see I have a black outline of my logo although it's not 3D or anything yet so I will show you how to do that now so as you can see it has a parent and then within there are four different paths because my logo is made up of four major parts and they're each the same shape actually as you can see but anyways um, go ahead and drag all the paths outside of the parent and delete the parent and then go to the square image up here and do extrude nerves and then copy and paste extrude nerves so that you have the exact same amount of extrude nerves as you do paths because you're gonna have one path per extrude nerves so now drag the path into the extrude nerves drag the other path into the other extrude nerves and keep doing that same thing until each extrude nerve has a path within it. Um, yeah. <clears throat> so as you can see, it's now 3D, and it doesn't really have any cool effects though. So what you can do now is really whatever you want. Um, but what I'm going to do is just go to each of the extrude nerves and make the cabs fillet cabs, and then just do the same thing for all of them real quick, and then. I'm going to eventually put in some materials and some lighting effects although I'm not going to do that all while you guys are here but I will show you me putting in the materials just so you can see what it'll end up looking like and materials and yeah if you don't have any materials guys I strongly suggest you go download my graphics pack that I released for 100 subscribers uh, because it has several sets of materials in it 
So yeah, just drag whatever materials you want in, so obviously and you can change the depth and add more materials and do whatever you want with it nice, to um, make it look nice, but I'm not going to go into all of that right now because, quite frankly, I don't have time. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys, and I hope you will give it a thumbs up and leave me any comments or questions you have down below. See you guys.